Mia Cucina in Italian means my kitchen. And today I have a delicious list to show you. But the prima cosa che dobbiamo fare è prendere il faddale. What did I say in Italian? The first thing that we need to do is put on the apron. And I have chosen a beautiful apron with butterflies and hearts. This is an incredible keto breakfast casserole that will last you all week long. For all of the ingredients and all the measurements, please scroll down to the, the, the recipe. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so, because that's where all my recipes are with all the measurements and all the ingredients. So I am going to start by going into my refrigerator and grabbing a few things. Yes, grabbing a few things because I'm going to show you what it's going to look like once we are done. And I'm on my way. Because I like to keep things nice and cold. And yes, 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 it's gonna have some eggs. I'll be right back. I'm so excited. It's almost like Christmas. You know, you don't know what you're going to get and you are so surprised and it's so exciting and you don't know and I can't wait for me show it to you. And wait a minute, one more thing. One more thing. Well, actually, a couple of more things. Okay, so I just wanted to get my, I wanted to get everything out of the refrigerator so it can be nice and Cold. Now, I have here one pound of Italian sausage that I'm just going to add there, like so. And then I do have two tablespoons of olive oil, but I'm just going to see how it plays out. This is a wonderful Italian sausage that has been sustainably taken care of by uh, those wonderful people that you know, grow this kind of uh, meat. So what I want to do is I want to start breaking this up with a little bit of that olive oil because I am going to be adding my onions in here as well. So I just want to break it down. I'm going to turn this down because I'm going to walk you step by step. This is an incredible casserole that all you got to do is heat it up in the morning if you're a very busy household. Uh, uh, housewife or you know, if, you have a, if you work, a lot of people work from home and it's double duty when you're at home because you know you are cooking for the kids, you're cooking for yourself and still work. Or for those that are you know that work outside of the home. So what I want to do here is I want to use as little as possible on the uh, oil but you know olive oil is wonderful for you so what I have here is I have my onion that I'm just going to add right in here because as this is cooking I'm going to give you a little bit of health benefits I'm also going to add my garlic again all the ingredients and all the measurements are all by scrolling down to my recipe by you know subscribing to my YouTube channel so now what I want to do here is I want to because I don't want to drain it. Because, you know, I like the meat to taste good with the onions. And if I were to drain it, then all the delicious flavors are going to go out of the way. That's why I start with two tablespoons of olive oil, just in case. Then I'm just going to add my salt and pepper right here. And I'm also going to add some of the salt and pepper to my eggs. Because this is going to no, this is going to go on a nine by nine inch pan that I have here, and I have already uh, used yeast to get it really good, so it's easy for me to you know uh, take it out, and it will last in the refrigerator for 
quite a bit of time. So now I'm going to turn this up a little more. And I'm just going to saute these guys together, giving it this the beautiful, delicious flavor. And Italian sausage has got such a wonderful, wonderful flavor. And it goes into this amazing casserole. Beautiful, beautiful casserole. And wait till I show you how this is going to come out. It's going to be beautiful. I have my oven on 375 degrees. And this is going to cook up 20 to 30 minutes depending on your oven. So you would have to check it with a toothpick. And when the toothpick comes out clean and the edges are nice and brown, it is done. And it is delicious. And it's also a low carbs and uh, it is a keto recipe. So these are almost done. They go really quickly here. And then I'll, ex I'll explain and show you how the rest is going to play out. Okay, They're almost there. Almost there. I'm just looking for my onions to be translucent, guys. Okay. So pretty much, it just takes a few minutes. You pop it in the oven and it's done and then you have breakfast all week long. Well, in our case, sometimes we have it for breakfast and sometimes we also have it for dinner with a nice salad. Okay, so this is done now. That is how quickly that ended. And then what I want to do is I want to bring a tray here. Let me move my eggs because I'll show you what we're going to do with that. Put the eggs out of the way. Because what I want to do is I want to cool this. And I'm just going to put it right in here, like so. And that way I can control how much of, you know, the grease that is in here. And even some pieces might not be 100% cooked. They will continue to cook in the oven. But you are not raw. Make sure that you cook this. So I have a slotted, you know, slotted... Uh, spoon over here and that's what I'm doing that way you know we don't have to worry about you know dirtying something else and I just want to cool this off because it's mostly all cooked anyways and I'm just going to use this that 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 over here and I want to use all of it because I don't want any of this deliciousness to escape so, you know, you still have a, quite a bit of, you know, it's amazing how much, you know, juice sometimes you have, you know, from the uh, sausage. And this is a Italian sausage mild. If you like it spicy, by all means, you know, get spicy, however you like it. And like someone just going to spread this out, spread the love, spread the love everywhere. So then this way this can be cooled. And now I'm going to bring my eggs to here. And then to these eggs... I have nutmeg and I am going to grate it and I love nutmeg so it depending on how much you love nutmeg if uh, I would you know you could use a quarter teaspoon a teaspoon I love it so much that I really like to give it a good tablespoon because that's me I am using quite a few eggs over here and, uh, and it just gives it a very lovely flavor so that's a good a good tablespoon right there. Oh, I just love nutmeg. You know, I've always loved nutmeg. It's just something special about nutmeg. So then what I want to do now is I want to start breaking the eggs. Because there's, like I said, quite a few eggs. And then once they're broken, I am going to start, you know, giving it some fluff. Giving it some fluff before everything goes in here. And like I said, this is a great dish if you're a very busy person, if you own your own business, and you, know, you, gotta, you, know, you have a client that you need to see, you can pop a piece of this in the, in the microwave oven, and it is delicious. So then what I'm going to do to this is I am going to measure out one and a half cups of cream that's going to go in here. Be done with that. Take the little thing. Everything I'm using is certified organic. So I'm just going to always measure it by the eye. 
And right there, it's a, one, one wonderful cup of cream that goes in there. I want to make sure that I get all my cream in here. Now, if you don't want to use cream, you can use almond milk, rice milk, hemp milk, unsweetened. You know, if you don't want to use cream and if you're sensitive to milk. In this case, I am going to use the whole, the whole thing. And then I'm going to add another half a cup. So it's going to take one and a half cups to all of these wonderful eggs. I'm done with that. Finish with that. Then I'm just going to give it a little, you don't want to overbeat it because you know we are using full cream. All right, see what I'm doing? I'm just mixing it together. And I'm using all organic eggs. And then to this I am going to add, what I've done is I steam some rapini. Let me tell you something about rapini. rapini. When you steam them, they're sweet, they're delicious. They're loaded with vitamin A, C, and K. Calcium, potassium, and iron. I am going to add them all in here like so. Just like so. Just in here. And I like to get them right out of the refrigerator because when I put this, I want to make sure that I'm not going to have, you know, cooked eggs, you know, in here. And then I have my cheese that I have right here that I'm going to add right in here like so. Now you understand why we really need to, you know, uh, grease our pan really well. Let me get my pan over here. And then to this, I'm just going to, I'm going to leave it right here because what I'm going to do now, so I'm going to come over here and I have basil. This is my basil that I grow here. I grow two kinds of basils. I grow uh, Italian basil and I also use Thai basil. And I find in this particular dish that Thai basil has got a beautiful punch. Now, again, you know, uh, if you don't like a lot of basil, you can omit, you know, like I said, you can look at the, ingre the uh, measurements, and if you don't like to use that much basil, you know, it's just something, you know, I'm Italian and I love basil. You know, garlic and basil, oh, mamma mia, che bellezza. What did I say? <laughs> I said, oh, mama, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, and my mother is smiling from heaven because she would love this because it's got her favorite things, garlic and basil. That's what she, she loves, garlic and basil. So now I'm just going to take this garlic and basil, and I am just going to put it all together like so. Be careful, safety first, knife. You know, make sure that you do not cut your fingers, or you can just put your hand over this and just kind of chop it. Because what I want to do is I really want to chop this. I really want to chop this. And in the meantime, while we just cooked, you know, the sausage with the uh, um, onions, it's already cooling. And then we're going to add it all together. All right. Look how beautiful this basil is. I just, I just picked it. I just picked it. There's nothing better for me than to go to my backyard and get my organic veggies, my organic herbs that I grow. And, you know, if you have, and anybody can grow in pots because a lot of my stuff is grown in pots because I live in a neighborhood that they don't allow you to really grow a lot of things on the ground. And so what I like to do is I like to grow them in pots. Now I'm going to add my basil that's going to go in here. Right in here like so. And then I'm going to get this off. Because I don't want to use this to mix everything. I want to get, I'm going to make sure that I get all of my basil that I worked so hard in cutting. Okay, and I'm just going to mix this together. I want to make sure that all my cheese is mixed, everything together. And now I am going to add my wonderful I'm going to add a little bit so I'm going to you know making sure you know that we don't have anything scrambled and that kind of tampers they call they call this tamp 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 can't even talk tampering tampering and I'm going to add the rest in here a little bit more at a time there's a little juice gets in there don't worry about it most of the other juice was left in the pan, keep mixing it, keep mixing it. 
And now I am going to go ahead and bring all this together over here. See that? Get it over here. We are listening to Spanish uh, guitar music on Pandora, nice and calming, you know. When, we're, when I'm in the kitchen, I like it to be nice and calm. Sometimes I listen to spa music, you know, for us to just be in that, in that calming mode because there's a lot of stress in the world as it is and we don't want any more stress. And then we just now mix it all together. That's why it's always good to have an extra sheet. Oh, look at this, look at this. And this, that's what it looks like. See guys? And now I am going to pour this right in here, like so. And this is going to give it a little bit of a puff. So they are going to puff. So make sure that when you put your toothpick, it comes out clean and you will see the sides. And they will, I'll show you what it will look like, you know, when, when it's all done. So then I just want to make sure that everything is spread even. We have all of this now, like so. And then I am going to put it in the middle rack, right in there. I have mine at 25 minutes, at 375. I'm going to check it. And if it's not quite done, then I leave it longer. And then what I do is I, uh, I let it cool completely. And then I turn it over, and then what I do is I cut them in nice pieces. And then if you want to be pretty about this, because this has basil, you know, you can add some basil to it to make it look prettier. And then let me bring it to you. Let me show you this beautiful keto breakfast casserole. Look how delicious it looks. Isn't that beautiful? Look how pretty that is. And it makes quite a bit, so you and your family can have that in the morning and gives you energy. And I want to thank all my wonderful sponsors, and I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Have a beautiful day. God bless every single one of you. God bless.